Guys, Magic Spoon is bringing your childhood favorites back. This is cereal reinvented. It's the same great taste that you remember, but upgraded with grown up ingredients with zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, four to five net grams of carbs in each serving. This high quality cereal hits all your fueling needs. At only 140 calories per serving, Magic Spoon fits a variety of lifestyles. It's high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free and naturally flavored. You can build your very own custom box and use my code CHAIL2023 for $5 off. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, and maple waffle flavors, plus other awesome flavors, including honey nut, blueberry muffin, birthday cake, cinnamon roll, and chocolate chip cookie. All products are backed with a 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it, they will refund your money, no questions asked. For my Canadian and British fans, Magic Spoon also ships to Canada and the UK. Scan the QR code on the screen and use the code CHAIL2023 for $5 off or just click on the link below. Sean Strickland cannot be champion. Can't be champion not only because he doesn't have the skills. He can't be champion because he can't fight for the championship. He can't fight for the championship because he can't be given an opportunity. He can't be given an opportunity because he can't be trusted as the king of the division. He's racist. He's a white supremacist, as a matter of fact. Homophobic. Insensitive. I'm trying to think of the words. I'm trying to think of the narrative around Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland's an inspiration. He's that same guy. Everything you think he did, he did. Everything you think you heard him say, you heard him right. Every little corner you tried to pin him into because of some interview that he used, you aren't wrong. And now he has inspired an entire world. He overcame. On short notice, and by the way, to go five rounds when you were just knocked out a couple of fights ago. To go into enemy territory, and I admit they're very nice in Australia. They're very nice to Sean. But nonetheless, it's travel. It's jet lag. To go into a situation like that and to overcome and to leave as the champion of the world, to have a rocky moment where that very crowd who you have been teasing all week to the point that you punch somebody in the gut, you put on a Crocodile Dundee hat, you worked up everybody. And now, not only that, you're going to take on the best ever. They keep having a conversation about who the best middleweight ever is. There is no conversation. It's Israel Adesanya. And he overcame anyway. That's inspiring. You know, when you go, when you go into the sport, and let me give it to you from a parent's perspective. If your father took you down to a boxing gym or encouraged you to get into wrestling or encouraged you to get into mixed martial arts or martial arts for any reason, it was about confidence. It was about hard work, about self-esteem. It was about goal setting. But most importantly, the life skill you get, it's, it's not the money, by the way. Dana White came along and decided to turn this into a, a job that guys can do. But jiu-jitsu is not a job, and amateur boxing is not a job, and amateur wrestling isn't a job. Like All the things that it takes to have the skills to be able to go into this, you don't get anything for, and your dad took you down there anyway. Your mother worked a, a second shift to have the money to cover gym dues. You don't have a mom and a dad. You stumble in, the coach gives you a sleeping bag, lets you live at the gym, like Andre Pettineris has done for people. Like Coach Lopez has done for people. Like Dan Lambert has done for people, like Fabiano Scherner has done for this very common story. Somebody believed in you, but they didn't, they didn't need for you to be able to kick somebody else's ass. They needed to have something that you could work towards, and they're going to give you life skills. Throwing a jab followed by a leg kick, followed up with a takedown and try to strangle somebody is not a life skill. It is extremely unrealistic that you will ever need that skill in life. The life skill is how you overcome. And one reason that, that MMA has caught on, it's not just because everybody understands it. It's also because everybody's in a fight. Everybody has a battle going on. That could be depression. 
That could be weight loss. That could be the loss of a loved one. That could be a job or a profession where somebody else keeps getting promoted all around you and you think you're putting in the hard work, but everybody's got to fight. So when you teach Sean Strickland these kinds of life skills, when you bring him out ranked number six in the world, he goes against Alex Piera. The only reason Sean fought him is because nobody else would, and Sean's willing to take on anybody, right? Everybody loves to say that. He actually does it, which is why when it's time to go to Australia to launch a brand new network and convince the biggest star in the sport who's the GOAT of that division. There's only one guy that you call. You want to call five guys and have them all give you excuses or you want to call one guy and have him tell you, I'll be there. So that racist, that insensitive, that homophobe that can't go on TV and doesn't belong on ESPN because he's, he's wrong for the brand has now inspired an entire world to understand, yes, you can. What happened yesterday is yesterday. Today's battle is about today. The guy I got in front of me, one sequence at a time, one round at a time, that's what Sean Strickland did. And it's one of these reminders. And we've all seen it, we all know it. But it's uncommon. It's uncommon enough that the biggest place that we see those types of things are through Hollywood, through a script that somebody had to write, somebody else had to go and perform because it's not very realistic in real life. This was real life. He went and did it. It's done. He's champion of the world. So say what you want about him. I won't tell you wrong. Say all those terrible words about him. Worst words you could say about somebody. If it makes you feel better, you think you've got the evidence, go ahead. If you think you're just calling it the way you saw it, if you think you're just saying honesty, if you think you're just seeing what's in front of you, go right ahead. Add inspiration. Add champion. And as, as much as this is Sean Strickland's night, there's more to it. I mean, this is about a division. He just brought down the king. The last time somebody brought down the king, they did a rematch immediately. I suspect they're going to do a rematch again, but the, but the entire landscape of the middleweight division just changed because that guy that was too hot for the airways just inspired the world.